Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside, dear Jesus! Oh, pardon my panic, but if you didn't realize, it's a fucking war zone out there. And all I've got to accompany me is this sickle bickle mini Uzi. Well, come on, friend. It's just me and you. We're gonna take the building together. You there! That's one, and you over there! That's two, little juggy. Look at all those guns on the ground. We'll get you a new friend later. For now, we gotta hide, buddy. Jesus, there's a pack of them coming for us. And when you said this was a war zone, you weren't fucking kidding, were you? Nope. This is some intense shit right here. We got you a friend now. Come here, M4 Carbine. You know I've missed you, old classic M4 Carbine. You're always reliable and trusty. But you know what? This is a fairly new environment for me. Let's see if you can still handle yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're still the laser I remember so well. Oh, I could talk about classic guns all day long. AK-47, there's another one. You're a beauty. Looking mighty fine in your blue tiger camo. As we all know, blue is a very complementary colour to orange. And the combination of the two on the AK, some might describe as peculiar, some may describe as very pretty. But I'm sure as a whole we can all put our colour disagreements to the side and we can all come together and say that the AK-47, no matter what bleeding paint job it's got on it, is gonna rip you to fucking shreds. And for a lot of us, that's all that matters. As time's gone on through Modern Warfare, the AK-47 has fallen more and more out of its groove. So going back in time ain't exactly the worst feeling in the world. Back to a time when the AK-47 remained groovy and was truly the lord of the dance. His dancing partner for today was... The Scorpion. 10 out of 10, lads. Good job. There's a lot of familiar names we're coming across here. I have to say, a lot of them are a damn sight prettier in this game than their future counterparts, and would you Adam and Eve it? There's another one. The Dragonov. Unfortunately, such is the popularity of the M40 in this game that the other sniper rifles were just simply out of favour, especially the Dragonov. And in a lot of games where the Dragonov or the SVD appears, it's a tricky gun to shoot. COD4 is certainly no exception, but it's definitely a likeable gun. Never had that reliable feel to it, it always felt like it would have been better suited as a simple rifle without a sniper scope on it. But nevertheless, the gun seems so popular that it appears in a lot of other shooters. And certain games give you that detachable scope option, like Medal of Honor and Battlefield. But having to try and nail the targets through a sniper scope ain't the worst thing in the world. I like the challenge of it. And on a map like Creek where you're mostly forced to sit back and try and pick them off from distance, the Dragonov is definitely one of the favourites to pull out for a test of accuracy. Then once that relaxing shootout is finished, it's nice to pick up the pace again, pull out the MP5, run through crossfire and hip fire for motherfucking days. We ain't done yet. I can tell we ain't done yet. I can feel them coming behind me. I can also feel the quad feet coming on. Give them to me. One, two, three, four. There it is. And the kill feed looks so pretty when the name just says Boo. You have no idea how long I chased that name on Xbox Live. While we're on that topic, to the lucky bastard on Xbox Live who got the game attack Boo. I've been trying to contact you for a long time, friend. And I refused. Refused to give in to the fact that that was just simply a dead account. And that the chance of you messaging me back saying, Hey buddy, would you like this name? We're very, very slim. Well, if by any chance you happen to be listening to this gameplay commentary, I'm just here to tell you that I no longer need your service. Keep the name Boo, buddy, it's a good one. I'll be happy to stick with OK Boo if necessary. And speaking of old classics, I'm sure we remember the nades. Yes, I can't say I was ever too fond of the frags in this game. However, there is another explosive in this game on the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of kill popularity, but certainly packed an explosive punch. And people always tell me that the double tap reload trick worked on the C4 of COD4 and the satchel charges of World at War. I could never get it working myself, I thought that the trick was introduced in Modern Warfare 2. Perhaps I'm just an incompetent freak or a C4 noob, but Call of Duty 4 definitely taught a lot of tricks, some that I'm never ever gonna forget. <laughs> like how to nail a cheeky snipe every now and then. So, I feel like I have a little explaining to do. I'm making the transition from being a Modern Warfare 3 only channel, and creating content based on games that I enjoy playing. You see me post a Team Fortress 2 video, a couple of Battlefield 3 videos, and now this one from Call of Duty 4. I've stopped playing Modern Warfare 3 altogether, and it's unlikely that I'll start playing again, but... I did build my channel mostly from Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, and I think a sharp transition straight into TF2 and BF3, what you might describe as unfamiliar territory, wouldn't be such a smart move. Now I do still have quite a bit of unused Modern Warfare 3 recorded gameplay with a bunch of weird guns. And I was watching some of my older videos today from a couple of months ago. And I'll admit, I like going back and watching my old stuff, I kind of enjoy it myself. And with that I've come to the conclusion that it would be a shame to just let this gameplay go to waste, so... 
I've decided I'm going to convert the remaining gameplay into some videos, and I'm going to space them out and upload them as time goes on while I make this transition. Luckily, I still enjoy playing the older Call of Duty games, so I can bring in some new stuff whilst retaining some familiar ground. Then once the transition's made and we're all settled in, I think we'll be happy. But for now, I want to shoot some fuckers in the face with a shotgun. Thank you for watching, gents, and goodbye for now.